I'm sure most street photographers can agree that in the moment of taking a photo, your gear does not matter. Unless you're talking about your lens. And no, I'm not talking about the aperture or the coating on the lens. I'm talking about the only factor that will affect the outcome of your images. And that is the focal length. Different focal lengths will give you different field of views. Wider angle lenses will give you a wide field of view. And as you go down the list, your images get narrower and eventually you'll reach the short telephoto range. But what is the ideal lens or focal length for street photography? And I can sit here all day and tell you guys what I enjoy. But the truth is, there is no ideal focal length. Kind of. Let me explain. What's going on YouTube and welcome back to The Orange Trees. Now today I wanted to touch on a topic of lenses and what is the best lens for street photography. Now the reason why I bring this up is because when I first started shooting street photography I always wondered you know what the best lens was. I've seen people using long lenses, I've seen people using ultra wide lenses and I really wanted to know you know what's the best lens that I can use for my photography. And what I've learned is that that question, you know, what the best lens is for street photography is actually invalid. The question you should be asking yourself is what style of photography am I shooting? Actually, let me rephrase that. What style of street photography am I shooting? And this is the question you have to ask yourself in order to figure out what is going to be the best and most practical lens for your photography. For example, if you're going to be taking pictures of a lot of people out on the street in a really tight setting, you might want a wider angle lens, something like a 24 millimeter, 28 millimeter, or a 35 millimeter. My wide angle lens of choice, of course, is a 35 millimeter, simply just because it gives me a good medium between wide angle but also kind of that short telephoto so I can still take portraits with this and I can still get some of that background separation but if I need to go into a tight space I can use the wideness of the 35 mm focal length and still able to capture a lot of the stuff around me if your style of street photography doesn't require you to get too close to people and you can still capture things from a good distance, I would recommend something like a 50mm. This is the 50mm 1.4 Rokor on my Minolta X700, I absolutely love it. And there are days where I feel like I don't want to get too close to people, I don't want to be you know, in super tight settings, and in that situation, I would definitely shoot with the 50mm. It's a good balance, you still get some sort of wideness to it, but it's not you know, super super wide like a 35mm. To put it into perspective, the 50 50mm is the most common focal length among street shooters and Cartier-Bresson actually used a 50mm as well on his Leica M3. Now if your style of photography requires you to be at a distance, maybe you're doing a lot of isolation techniques where you're isolating certain body parts of their hands or you know drawing in different light and just isolating that one little area, you might want to go to a short telephoto or a telephoto lens. Now I don't have one with me unfortunately on this cold morning but I would highly recommend an 85mm equivalent. And the reason why I recommend the 85 is because if you look at guys like Craig Whitehead, I'm going to link his Instagram account down below, you know he has some absolutely amazing work and it's all done with a 85 mil equivalent lens I believe because he shoots Fuji but then they have like that 1.5x crop factor so 56 mil becomes 85 I think I think don't don't question me on that but that's the beauty of street photography it really depends on the style of photography that you're gonna be shooting and capturing so you know if I were to give you a short answer to what is the best lens for street photography I wouldn't be able to tell you it really all depends on you and how you want your images to look so at the end of the day, it's really up to you. To each his own. Find what works best for your style and stick with it. This has been King Japes. Till next time.